as a survivor of domestic violence, I will say the same thing today that I said last year when this came up. I would rather defend myself against a knife, a hatchet, a pot, a pan, a brick, a fist, than a gun. And my ex-husband had a gun. And I used to take the bullets out, <laughs> kept it under the pillow. <laughs> I would take the bullets out because if he had planned on using the gun on me, he was going to have to look for those bullets. And as a survivor, I mean, I don't think that people that have not experienced this understand the trauma that you go through day in and day out when you're dealing with someone that is capable of causing you bodily harm. And he did in the end. He shoved me through a glass patio door while I was five months pregnant with my daughter. But I know many women that don't have my testimony, that didn't survive domestic violence, that have been gone from, from this earth many, many years now. I thank God my daughter survived, born one pound, 11 ounces, 10% chance of living due to domestic violence. Being a person that has gone through it, I would rather be dealing with fighting for my life with any instrument except for a gun, because I don't stand a chance against a loaded gun. You can't fight against a loaded gun. I would hope that a bill like this would be an, a, a, a pivotal instrument in helping women facing this kind of violence. And I just think that this is a good option for women going through this, to know that if they have the courage to go and ask for a TRO, that they have somebody backing them up and guaranteeing that they're gonna be safe. For me to hear people say that we're picking on people with guns, I don't believe that's the case. I don't think that a person's right to carry a gun should, should supersede my right to walk away with my life.